I'm really proud of being involved in this, and it's a knockout. The first such gallery in the Southern Hemisphere. The spiritual home of cartooning in Australia. Very important to cartooning. We are the only cartoon gallery in Australia and one of very few around the world. The National Cartoon Gallery in Coffs Harbour is the only gallery of its kind. And we have a vision. We plan to tell the history of Australia through the eyes of the cartoonists, creating a permanent exhibition utilising this powerful yet fun medium. We see cartooning as an important part of Australia and our story. And Australia has some of the best cartoon heritage in the world. It's made a huge contribution to world cartooning. Here's the perfect opportunity to celebrate that. The project's going to bring those stories to life behind the cartoons to make it accessible to all ages. Engaging, high-tech displays will reveal the valuable partnership between cartoons and journalism. Using satire and irony to cut straight to the truth to educate and entertain. Satire is actually still alive and kicking. It's a very important part of society. We're on our way. It's going to be housed in a fabulous new building, an immediate target for visitors who are always looking for different experiences. It's a celebration of the work. It's really exciting. An exhibition of this type has never been attempted. We're looking for somebody who gets the story. Thylacine are leaders in interpretive design and they've partnered with the gallery. Their team have created iconic exhibitions both nationally and internationally, known for exceeding expectation in projected visitor numbers, resulting in notable economic growth. In collaboration with an award-winning curator, this team will design the visitor journey, conceptualising and materialising the dynamic interactive installations, immersing the visitor in a physically and emotionally unforgettable experience. And then there's the educational value. I'm Richard Scully and my whole career has been dedicated to teaching and researching cartooning and cartooning history. I'm leading a team of colleagues from four of Australia's leading universities currently researching content and developing learner support material. This is going to fit pretty well into the curriculum, I think, across the board, not just New South Wales, but across the nation. Having already secured a $2.6 million government grant to extend the current building, construction has already commenced. What was once a World War II bunker has become home to the current cartoon gallery for the last 24 years and is soon to be transformed, ready to house this dream. Some might say the glass is half full, but we aren't quite there yet. That's why we want you to join us on our journey. Help fund the exhibition and create a global icon. Imagine the impact of your affiliation with a world-renowned iconic attraction and how being a key supporter could put you in the spotlight. If you too believe a little larrikin humour is the perfect way to tell the Australian story, then let's start the conversation.